crazy day, and it looks like today won't be any different. I know a lot of you aren't even awake yet, probably haven't even put on your morning coffee, but you might want to check your news before you do. Some of you are going to consider calling in sick. The first major news was early this morning the White House was locked down after multiple infected individuals appeared at their gate. Reports were that they were trying to get in. Sometime in the afternoon, a gate had been installed around the White House as well as other key infrastructure areas. The reason given was the coming election and expected droves of people that visit the area. And they're probably very happy that they didn't wait for November because what is being reported is three individuals had attacked multiple people and then moved towards the gate. Secret Service immediately went into action, moving to the outside of the gate and engaging the threats. When the individuals didn't respond, they were shot and killed. Now, what's really crazy about this is it took, get this, 27 bullets to just take one of these individuals down. That's Terminator-level gunshot right there. Imagine reloading, what, two times at least? The onlookers were horrified, and there was some reporting of police brutality, but others closer to events said no, they just kept coming. I think even with that, there are going to be people that are crying violence. There's already people who are empathetic to the plight of the infected, and when they hear this, they're going to react come morning. Three sick people, completely unarmed against multiple shooters, they'll ask, why did these uh, individuals go straight to shooting? Maybe kneecapping someone? I, I don't know. I mean, it's been, what, a full day, and the stuff has already just gotten out of hand. It's off the rails and at some point some people have even said it's become rather stupid but seriously folks I I think it's time you realize these people are sick and I mean in a bad way there's nothing you're going to be able to do about it you've heard the CDC report this infection kills you that's it so it's like nobody's paying attention and I don't think they will have that luxury today more and more reports of sightings of infected are coming out. It used to be an out of sight, out of mind occurrence, and now it's, wait a minute, is that person infected? I I can't even imagine how bad it is in Pennsylvania, and I'm hearing most of Georgia too. They must have basically bodies in the streets. Many parts of the states are in full lockdown, state of emergency with the National Guard at the Capitol, and we're hearing reports of shootings too. Instructions like shoot to kill, It makes me wonder how many innocent people are killed just getting too close to a capital. Pennsylvania is probably the worst. It's useless to call 911. Some hospitals have completely shut down. About the only place to go if you don't have a place to stay is going to be a shelter. And I've heard that Philadelphia isn't that bad, but they're still working on emergency share programs where food is delivered to city areas and it's delivered to the doors of anyone that's locked down. It looks like it may take off, too. It's kind of like ordering a pizza, but with groceries. From what I'm seeing, it's basically like an information blackout for most of the media, but not just we're not getting a lot of official information, but because we're getting too much information. And some of it is even conflicting, and based on where you're at. Canada's parliament even brought up concerns of locking down the border and taking further action, but they used a word we can't use here on the radio unless we don't want the FCC to come down on us for stirring up hysteria, which we are apparently good at doing. I'm starting to wonder if they're even watching, or are they too busy with what's going on right now? It's like in Die Hard, the kid says you could steal City Hall and nobody would notice. That brings me to the next topic. People are going to wake up today and they're going to take notice. They're going to see this insanity and they're going to realize it's in their backyard. And when they do, what are they going to ask for? People want action and although we see a lot of it in certain areas, we're not seeing it everywhere else. (laughs) Particularly California has gone completely denial on it. The conspiracy central and I'm amazed with the homeless problem in places like San Francisco. Cisco, when this hits, it and it will. How bad is it going to be? There is already huge concerns of looting in any of these areas that are highly affected. And when the food shops close down and the 
fast food isn't an option. People are going to take matters into their own hands, and those matters will not be beginning to farm. What's that going to look like, especially when there are no police on the streets to stop it? Sure, this is all theoretical outside of those areas that are most affected, but even though they're saying the spray has been minimalized, look at Washington. Look at the reaction. They're getting through. They're places that people don't realize. When does this motivate the reaction to be extreme? We've already seen cities trying to move on the homeless population, but it's like cleaning your room by moving the dirt from one side of the room to the other. It still exists. It's still there in the corner. A great example is the drug problem. We, I mean, this is a drug problem, right? So let's just ban drugs. <laughs> I'm joking, obviously, but seriously, stopping the flow, taking extra action, maybe start locking people up that you know are promoting this stuff. I mean, come on, this is basic stuff. We're in a serious situation, and maybe that takes serious activity. This is the kind of thing that people are going to start asking for, and already people are asking, where's the military? And, and I'm not talking National Guard, I'm talking Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force. I mean, what gives? They haven't even been mobilized. When do they get called in? How far do we go before somebody says it's time to bring in the serious troops? And that's not to diminish the National Guard, it's their job to do what they do, but I don't think they've been utilized correctly. They've simply been put in capital areas and they're defending government, which I think is some respects their job. But if they're going to be outside of those areas, you're effectively left to your own devices. Am I right? I just think the government is underestimating what we're dealing with. And maybe taking some extra steps now would prevent the worst from happening down the road. Maybe building a wall around Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh. It, these are options we haven't considered and maybe they should have been considered from the beginning a blockade at least instead of a bunch of shelters that really nobody even comes out to we know the cause so let's just take the action we need to that's all anybody is going to ask and have in some cases asked already and they're asking to do this before it's too late but thanks for my for listening to my rant everybody you know, it's time for us to go back to the music and for most of you, 